Welcome to a CSGO tutorial from an unqualified source. Let's get started. When opening up the game, the first thing you need to do is pick a game mode. Team Deathmatch is fun if you enjoy getting perpetually spawn camped by a douchebag with an op. War games get about as much traffic as the state of North Dakota. You'll never find a match outside of the occasional arms race. Competitive mode is more toxic than Modern Warfare 2, League of Legends, and Chernobyl combined. No matter how good you are, it isn't worth all of the verbal and emotional abuse. As such, casual is the only mode worth your time. Before you choose a playlist, you may notice the option to purchase Prime Matchmaking. This lets you play better opponents. Don't. You unlock it later anyway with no ability to remove it. Also, it's more fun to beat up Little Timmy for 20 levels. There are 4 playlists to choose from. Dust 2 is where the tryhards go in their free time. These motherfuckers have been playing this map since Counter-Strike Source and know every single corner of the map. Prepare for much bullying and shit posting. Hostage mode is comically unbalanced. If you are playing as terrorists, you should win 100% of all matchups. Otherwise uninstall. Delta playlist is where scrubs who couldn't win in competitive go, but still want to play the competitively viable maps. They are so adjusted to the meta, that all you have to do to beat them is to do nonsensical bullshit. These players will tell you to get good all the while you are kicking their asses. Sigma playlist is where the ultra casual little timers play. These maps are very exploitable and nobody takes the game very seriously. This is a safe haven from all of the toxic sweat lords. Don't get too attached to the maps though. They get replaced all the time. When selecting a team, keep in mind that the best offense is a good defense. Therefore, CT has the edge in bomb maps, and T has the edge in hostage maps. That won't stop your team from rushing spawn and getting gunned down by an egg ev. Next are the guns. For your secondary, there are two good options. The Tech 9 is a good spam pistol for injured opponents. The Desert Eagles is basically a second primary. It will to shot just about anything. The rest of them are equally useless pea shooters, unless you are an MLG pro who can headshot everyone with a Glock. Good for you. The submachine guns are all trash. They have unmanageable recoil patterns. Recoil is literally the most important stat in the game. The AK and M4 are the most usable full auto guns. It's important to tap fire for maximum results. The Negev, on the other hand, has a very easy recoil pattern. It's also packing a 150 round magazine. Prefire this around every corner and shoot through any smoke cloud you see. You will almost certainly dome someone. Enjoy the hacker accusations. Shotguns are very useful in tight corridors. If you are going into a corridor, expect a player with a 10, 14 ready to dome you. Shotguns are all but useless in wide open places, so pick your battles carefully. The op is perhaps the most notorious gun in FPS history. This gun is a one-shot machine just about anywhere. The only true counter is another op. Just make sure that your teammates aren't also all carrying ops. Otherwise your team will crumble like a house of cards. Make sure to buy a shiny deagle to go with your op for close range combat. If you want to be an unlikable prick, buy the SCAR 20. It's basically a deagle with an ops range. It's not great at high levels, but it will easily net you top spot on the leaderboard in casual games. Now you know how to play CSGO. Use this knowledge so that you will one day be good enough to get into Silver 1. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you want to see next.